Hey everybody, how's it going? It is June 2nd and we got some discount offers on the cars featured in this week's online multiplayer. So, uh, as you can see here, Porsche 919 Hybrid Evo, the car itself and the upgrades on the car are offered at 40% discount. So that's not a bad deal if you can't afford it. And then the other car that is getting 30% discount offer on both car and upgrades is this Lotus Type 125, which is a lot of fun. Uh, featured in one bonus series in Elite section, not in uh, the Legend. The Exos experience is what the series is called. So, um, yeah. And then Porsche, of course, is featured in a single bonus series. Uh, tribute tour uh, plus its own exclusive series once you have the car fully upgraded right so um, all three cars featured this week are all very expensive I think the uh, price of the car itself McLaren MP4X may be the most expensive one coming in at 1200 gold and then uh, 919 hybrid Evo comes in just under at like 1150 gold, so 1150. And then, um, how much is Lotus Type 125? I want to say it's like around 950 or something like that. So, yeah, it's like in the order of the expensiveness, right? Initially to buy the car. But, um, I do think the Porsche takes the cake when it comes down to upgrade cost because um, fully upgrading this car without any discount will cost you some upwards of 3,265 gold. Yeah, and some 6 million plus racing dollars. So if if you've been playing for a while, I'm sure you have a lot of access racing dollars. So that's not a big deal. But if you are new to the game, uh, yeah, don't even think about it. This car is going to be one of the most expensive cars, I think, with upgrades inclu included. I think this is the most expensive car in the game. Just, you know, by far. So... With a 40% discount, what do you get? Well, instead of costing you 1150 gold to buy the car, it'll cost you 690 gold. Yeah, 690 ain't no joke, in my book at least. Um, it's featured in two series, one of which is an exclusive series. So, you know, if you want to do anything out of that series, you have to fully upgrade the car. Um, so before we go there, let's talk about uh, the upgrade cost in general. So there are 28 upgrades total, as you can see. First seven upgrades, basically first tier upgrade on each category, are all racing dollars. And that'll bring your PR up to 115.9. Um, that might have been adjusted in the current version to go up to 116. I think they might have fiddled with the PR on these cars. So um, just, yeah, my data that I have may not be perfectly accurate at the moment, just simply because they are <laughs> more dynamic than I initially thought they were gonna be. But, you know, anyway. That's not that important anyway. The important part is the cost, right? So let's talk about the cost strictly in this video. And maybe I'll run a few races in this multiplayer, um, this week's multiplayer uh, races, right? Events. So right now my car has 21 upgrades, three upgrades, three upgrades across the board. With a PR of 126.8 and if you're wondering 
did you win this through limited time series? Yes, I did. Uh, we've had a couple of different limited time series featuring this car. First time they paid out 150 gold and we need to have basically three upgrades across the board for the cost of some 660 gold. Uh, that's the total of total cost of your second tier gold upgrades. So with a 40% discount on that, you will pay 396 gold. Right, so if you can wait and win it through limited time series, I think it's still gonna be a better deal to go that route, I think. I am not sure, it depends on how much they decide to pay you back, right, for running through a limited time series because there's usually some sort of a gold reward associated with those events you know what i mean anyway so uh and then second rendition you needed to spend some extra gold <laughs> to get pr up higher than this i didn't actually go all the way through the second time around because the upgrade cost just i could not justify i figured you know I'm just going to wait it out and wait for opportunity like what we have now, which is 40% off discount on the car and upgrades. So, um, yes, this is a car that I have VIP'd so I can get the instant service done and I can also get the racing dollar upgrades done without R and D time. It's going to be all instant. So, um, that's exciting because uh, out of the two, well, these are the two cars in my garage that are VIP. One's MP4X and the other one is the Porsche 919 Hybrid Evo. The two most expensive cars in the game that both only have a single bonus series, a single car series, and they both have an exclusive series once they're fully upgraded. Reason why up I got these two cars VIP'd is um, they are by far the fastest so I feel like um, I can use these cars to farm quick if I don't have to wait for service. See where I'm going with this? So that's my strategy. If I need to just like level up quickly for you know whatever or I just feel like just racing these cars for a while then I don't they are VIP, they're special, they're very important. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I had some credit on Google, so it costed me essentially a buck to get the VIP on this car, which I thought, hey, you know what, it's worth it. So anyway, and also I can give you guys this uh, upgrade video without having to wait or do goofy skipping with the gold or anything like that, so... Yeah, since we have the three upgrades across the board already, and I've kind of given you the rundown of how much it costs to get your car up to this point, 660 gold without discount, 396 with a 40% discount, right? So if you already own this car in your garage because you've been playing for a while, um, and this is where you left the car, then, well, let's run over some numbers together fully upgrading right because that's my plan here with a 40 percent off um normally 255 gold right but we get this 453 gold tier 4 the engine upgrade here which unlocks the next tier racing dollars but we'll come back to that and then we got drivetrain, the last upgrade, 144 gold is the cost currently with a 40% off as opposed to 240. Let's get that. And then we got one more because that's the only category that has fourth tier upgrades. Right, so suspension is the last one. Instead of 220, we pay 132. So, with those um, three tier four 
gold upgrades. Uh, normally, it would have costed 715 gold, but with a 40% discount, we paid, or I paid, 429. What a bargain, right? And by the way, that's how much upgrade you would have needed to have gotten in order to uh, complete the second rendition of the limited time series for this card. So cost for upgrading. Uh, if you didn't have if the car prior to was up in like, you know, 1300 range. And even uh, for me, who already had the car, it would have cost me extra 100, uh, extra 715 gold to just gain um, just like 40 extra gold, which made absolutely no sense in my opinion. So I just waited out on that one. And guess what? We got 40% discount offer, which I welcome wholeheartedly here. So, yes, as you can see, it's been VIP'd. I've been waiting for this. But anyway, uh, that brings your PR up to 129.1. Let's get the tier 5 engine upgrade, which I can get it done right away without weight with racing dollars. Now, this one costs normally 874,200. Uh, with a 40% off, we get it for 524,520. Sweet. Brings your PR up to 129.7. And the next tier is at tier 6, right? 6, 7, and 8. Right. Tier 6 is going to be the gold upgrade normally would cost you 580 but with 40 percent off discount we can get it for 348 gold just a nominal cost <laughs> and uh this one tier 7 racing dollar upgrade for this guy um 40 percent off is 1.18 million and 80 racing dollars uh, because normally it would have costed just under 2 million as you can see here 1.9 million yes so well let's get that and then final upgrade worth under normal circumstances would cost you 1310 gold who are we kidding 1310 gold that's a lot of gold um, but with a 40% off, you can get it for mere 786 gold. Yeah, so, um, that does fully upgrade the car though. So now we get the bonus, all the perks of uh, having the car fully upgraded, of course, twice the service um, bars. Right? Although, in my case, because I VIP'd, that becomes kind of uh, irrelevant at this point. And uh, there are no customization options on this car. I wish we had it. Maybe they will add later. I doubt it. But, so, two of the three perks that we get becomes kind of pointless for me here. And then, of course, third one still counts, which is... Uh, no um basically you can run the time trials without any uh weight which is kind of nice and then of course it unlocks the exclusive series which there are some 400 gold to be won in that one so at least i get to recoup uh, uh i guess the equivalent of like that tier 4 upgrades close to it but not quite the whole thing because you know tier 4 upgrades costed me just now 429 gold so at least I can recoup 400 of it but that still le still leaves me like some 1100 gold that I just you know went under so yeah brings the PR up to 131.6 though so that 
makes this car's PR the second highest in the road collection section. Now, the new motorsport section F1 cars, when you upgrade them fully, they do go higher than this one. And the MP4X, of course, we know is a fantasy car. So it's got this absurd PR of 145.3 with a 4.5 G of grip and a top speed of 443 kph, 1.6 second acceleration, 12.2 meter braking distance. Yeah, that doesn't exist in reality. <laughs> but hey, that's what make this, uh, makes this a game. Now let's compare it with the 919 Hybrid Evo, which is technically not that far off, is it? If you look at it, and this is a real car. 414 kph top speed so there is you know 30 kph difference at that peak i think is a big difference um and an acceleration 1.74 second versus 1.6 seconds yeah that's a pretty significant difference and the braking distance 12.2 meters for mp4x 14.3 meters so but really, the important part is the 4.5G versus 3.31G, right? But the odd thing, of course, is uh, these guys, um, especially MP4X, it's not that difficult to get them to skid out, you know, fishtail, all that. I mean, it's grippy at fast speed, but uh, not as grippy as you might think. If you're used to the now the 2019 season formula one cars because those things really can grip and they're really uh, much easier to handle than the likes of mp4x or for that matter type 125 these guys are different kind of beast you have to go fast in order for grip to work like at low speed these guys skid like there's no tomorrow on that front 919 hybrid evo is quite well uh balanced you know even though the grip is lower 3.31 g um i always get a feeling that this car does have better grip than mp4x for some reason well yeah so anyway um now that I'm done with the upgrades, and now you guys got to see what it costs to upgrade this car. Oh, by the way, the bonus series this car is featured in, Tribute Tour, which you'll find in Legends section. Uh, if you 100% complete that one, there's some 75 gold to be won. That one requires your PR to be 129.7. So that means you need to get just about uh well you need to get your engine upgrade up to fifth tier and then max out all the other categories which means um gosh you don't need to get tier six seven and eight upgrades tier seven was the racing dollar upgrade so let's forget about that one but uh if you don't basically you don't need to get tier six and tier eight which combined cost Right now, with a 40% discount, cost about 1100 gold. Yeah, so keep that in mind. <laughs> you can still complete Tribute Tour, but payout isn't all that great. I mean, 75 gold for this car's cost. I mean, are you kidding me? Come on. They could have paid out a little bit more than that. Yes? I mean, keep it in three digits. Yeah. And uh, yeah, races are all very short too in that series. That's which is another reason why I uh, VIP this car because um, short series is fine, short races are fine. It's easier to keep them running over and over and over, I think. You know, especially if you don't have to service or if you can get the instant service, you know what I mean? As long as they pay out okay, I'm good with that in terms of fame points. So anyway, uh, enough of me talking. Let's take this car out for a spin. Um, 
on this multiplayer event. Looks like we got Red Bull Ring. And it's a national circuit. Why national circuit with this guy? That seems kind of absurd in itself. And looks like we got some Lotus. We got, uh, oh, that's me. And then we got a MP4X. <laughs> was uh, ridiculous. Wow. I feel like I brought a bazooka to a sword fight. My goodness. What an obscene speed. <laughs> Poor guys with a Lotus Type 1 to fight. You guys had no chance. My goodness. I'm sorry. That, that was uh, utterly unfair. But uh, anyway, that is enough showcase for one video, don't you think? So anyway, there's a rundown of the upgrades for this car. I'll put the details in the description box below, as always. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.